French firm Naval Group has publicly criticized Germany's disencrypt marine systems for transferring advanced submarine technology to foreign nations, thus creating new competitors in the global export market. Kalyani Strategic Systems has announced that it has exported 100 artillery guns in 2024. The DRDO will test the anti-submarine warfare version of Pinaka rockets for Indian Navy later this year, that will replace the Russian RBU-6000. Tato Advanced Systems has unveiled its new 4x4 light armored multi-role vehicle at the IDEX 2025 in Abu Dhabi. Russian officials have said, that the Su-57 joint production facilities in India could start as early as this year, if the Indian government accepts the offer. The project director of Tejas Mark II program has said, that the Tejas Mark II has only one-fourth of the frontal radar cross-section as compared to the Tejas Mark I. DG Propulsion has signed a strategic agreement with Bharat Dynamics, to collaborate on jet turbine engines for loitering munitions high-speed UAVs and advanced propulsion systems. Idaforge has announced its strategic investment and partnership with US-based nano-UAV firm Vantage Robotics. The Indian Army will place a contract for the Quick Reaction Surface-to-Air Missile System within the next four to five months. The Eastern Command of the Indian Army has equipped its Smirch multi-launch rocket system with a COPE cage, that will bolster its survivability against small kamikaze and FPV drones. Kaliani Strategic Systems has unveiled its RC0912 rolling chassis, a modular platform capable of supporting a wide range of configurations for diverse military and logistical roles. The National Security Guard has won the All India Police Commando competition in the sniper category with the Sabre Sniper of SSS Defense, beating the other commando wings of state police forces that used American sniper rifles. The Aeronautical Development Agency has announced, that the Garda QCAF will be equipped with an electro-optical targeting system developed for the AMCA program, and might very well be the first of its kind globally. The full-scale prototype of Garda QCAF is already under fabrication, and while it is designed for precision strikes and intelligence gathering in contested environments, adding an advanced electro-optical targeting system will enable it to detect track and engage targets at extended ranges, and perform these complex missions with a higher degree of accuracy. Following the successful unveiling of the CATS Warrior Loyal Wingman, Hindustan Aeronautics has now set its sights to unveil the prototype of the CATS Hunter air-launched cruise missile in 2026, which will be followed by extensive flight trials. The Scalp air-launched cruise missile has been restricted to the 36 Rafale F-3R fleet, thus limiting its widespread adoption within the Indian Air Force, and the 300 km Cats Hunter aims to change this by offering similar capabilities, but with broader compatibility across various fighter jet platforms in the Indian Air Force's inventory. It will feature a low observable design to minimize its radar cross-section, and will also employ sea-skimming flight patterns. Tanbo Imaging Private Limited has joined hands with the Indian Navy to develop an innovative see-through armor system equipped with multi-spectral HD sensors, that will offer a 360-degree view of the environment around the submarine and warships, that will improve threat detection, and respond to threats more effectively. Tanbo Imaging is expected to begin testing the see-through armor system within the next 12 months, that will be installed on various ships and submarines for testing purposes. Today's top 3 comments 